The recent changes to Unity's pricing have been a huge point of contention for developers. If you're not aware, Unity recently announced that they would be adding on to their existing pricing model an up to 20 cent charge per install. If you've not heard about this, there have been a lot of people that have been upset because there are so many factors with this pricing model that aren't quite clear or just bad. The biggest one is how do you even track installs and does that pose a security risk or open a legal door to getting sued? And who's responsible if a litigation were to drop? Unity? You? as well as piracy concerns, intentional reinstalls by bad actors also poses a risk. Unity has cleared some of this up by stating that reinstalls will not be charged and they built their own algorithm to block pirated games from being charged. To me, this raises a huge eyebrow because Unity is basically stating that they have found a way to stop piracy. Obviously, there are going to be more than a few illegitimate copies of games being charged. Disregarding all of that, there's, there's also, also a big point that I haven't mentioned, and that is the eligibility for these fees to actually kick in. For personal and plus plans, you need to have reached 200,000 in revenue in the last 12 months and 200,000 installs for the lifetime of your game. And these numbers increase to a million for pro and enterprise plans. You're probably on the same boat as me, where you either haven't released your first game or your game will probably not reach that $200,000 threshold for the fee to kick in. Most people's games will not be affected by this charge in the slightest, and I think a big focus has been on the successful games launched with Unity and not on people like me or maybe you. I've already gotten a couple of comments asking if this change will affect Tower Quest or if I'm planning on remaking the game in Unreal because of these changes. The truth is, I don't know how successful Tower Quest will be. It could become hyper successful, and then I would be affected by the fees, or more likely is that the game will not reach anywhere close to those numbers, and switching over to Unreal would ultimately be a huge time investment that wasn't necessary. Learning a new programming language with C++ and a new engine, or even if I just wanted to use blueprints, learning that node-based programming tool would not be a small task to overcome. And to invest that time on a possibility that might not come to fruition, I think would be a big mistake. I want to finish this game, and if I'm being completely honest, <laughs> I don't think these changes are going to stick. The last time I saw backlash this big in the gaming industry was probably around EA doing something with monetization, and those changes were also reverted. I don't have any internal connections or anything to Unity, <laughs> I'm a very small channel at less than 600 subscribers at the time of writing, but I just can't imagine Unity sticking with these changes after the amount of negative press they've received or their stock prices dropping. So for the time being, I am going to be sticking with Unity for this project. However, here are some things that I have considered considered. Even if they end up reverting these changes, Unity has had a recent history of disrespecting their user base ever since John has taken over. If you're not familiar with him, <laughs> he's that same person that was responsible behind the same drama that happened at EA. To me, it seems pretty obvious that this sort of behavior is coming straight from him, and I don't think things like this will change with him at the head of the company. And I don't feel comfortable working with a tool that has a person that hasn't learned from the same mistakes they made nearly a decade ago. So so as long as John is at the head of the company, I'm not going to start any new projects with Unity. So this is my last project I'm doing with Unity, and then I'll dive into learning Unreal after this is done. Even though it may not affect me, it feels like I'm being punished for trying to make a successful game. I have a bunch of tools that I have purchased and collected over the years for Unity, and even all the knowledge that I have about Unity won't be any use in any new engine I move to, so I'm not making this decision lightly. And that also leads me to one final thing. I know some of you may have seen that I have a beginner Unity tutorial course and the first six videos are already complete, but in light of these new changes, it sort of feels a bit off to continue that project. So I'm deleting the entire course. <laughs> And I'm putting it on its own channel. <laughs> I gotcha. So, so the first six videos will be posted on there and removed from this channel. I personally don't want to continue with Unity, but I don't think it's my place to say whether you should continue with them or not. And since the first six videos are already done, I decided to just post some on a new channel. And if you want to continue to learn game development with Unity, you can watch the videos on there. Also, any educational content I make in the future will be living on that channel. Anyways, that's it for me. I know I didn't talk too much about Tower Quest in this video, but next video we'll get back on track and I'll show you all the sick progress I've made. Catch you later.